Das ist so gut. Community of Sustainabilitist. I'm Dr. T. H. Culhane, and the red Oculus glasses. You can see the name of Brianna Kmek, and uh, she's got red controllers dancing around. I have what look like white controllers to me. I don't know what color they look like to you. Oh, you're red to me. I'm red. I'm red. And for some reason, I can't move. Isn't that strange? Why can't I move around? Somehow. Oh, I know why. I'm okay. I have to go resume. All right. So it do appear that I'm in the world with you, and we are working on George's George's gasifier. And what George provided us with, as you can see from what I'm looking at behind Brianna, there is a uh, it's a kiln that uses deadwood and he's brought it out to Fiji to train the local farming community to make better use of their deadfall and create very porous and microbe friendly biochar which will then create that terra prieta that black soil that is so good for uh, for really increasing biodiversity and health in the soils because of the sheer surface area and the microbial populations that then inhabit those crystal pores that are formed from a good char. Uh, also, one could capture the syngas. And as you can see, looking at this particular photograph from the video that George made in Canada before he left for Fiji, when he was testing it, he used chalk lines to show what's going on inside the box. But then he has to explain what's actually happening in there and then take a series of photographs. And you can't get in there with a camera when the thing is operating, you'd burn yourself uh, to a char. Uh, so <clears throat> we're doing some 3D modeling here in Gravity Sketch Collaborate. And this is me and Brianna, a student at the Patel College of Global Sustainability um, at the University of South Florida in Tampa and Akshita Sagal, who is not in world with us right now. And then hopefully we'll get a, um, we'll get a uh, permission from Gravity Sketch to bring George himself from Fiji into this play space, into this sandbox. And then he could be standing right next to us advising, how do you make this look exactly as it does in real life? So that when he does the training of the farmers, he can just put the Oculus on <clears throat> and show them. Um, we intend to take this model that you can see Brianna working on right now of the uh, of the of the, uh, yeah, the kiln and bring it into Blender for some finishing up, then bring it into Unity and then export it into Alt Space to the Rosebud Continuum Alt Space world that we have created. <clears throat> and by doing that, we uh, give people the option of meeting. And in fact, George met us first in alt space and he came to a theater template where i was meeting with the students one of the standard alt space vr templates talking about uh, drawdown solutions for climate adaptation and mitigation and asked if we were the same people that he'd been looking for in the rosebud alt space world which had at that point been taken down it didn't exist anymore because alt space and unity had both uh, deprecated their previous uh, models and moved up to a new version of Unity and a new loader for Unity, and that was one that didn't support previous versions. So, but he said he'd first been trying to meet us. He'd come into the alt space version of Rosebud, and he really liked it and shown people that world. And he was trying to meet us, but couldn't find us anymore. So he found us in this uh, template, this sort of standard default template world where I go to give lectures sometimes. And then uh, we did eventually meet in the alt space Rosebud world. 
And then he said when in class last week, when we were in Alt Space Rosebud, he being in Fiji and us being in Florida, he said, do you think you could model, um, make a model of this kiln that we're trying to teach farmers how to build here in Fiji? So we jumped on it as one of those wonderful synchronicities, a um, student and professor and engineer project that has direct benefit immediately. And so that's what you can see Brianna working on here. This is, now she's getting the, um, the wire holding the lid that you can see over here. There's a white arrow pointing it to it in the, uh, in the video. And the pivot pipe and then the lid that you open up to drop the material, the dead wood in. And so she's working on that as we speak. Because Gravity mm -hmm. Sketch has a lot of great tools for that. And then there's this pivot, uh, which is not in the video, but is in the diagram over here that George sent. Uh, pivot pipe that goes through the kiln, which she has right there in in uh, dark brown. And that enables the entire thing to be tipped over so that ash can be dumped out and it can be reloaded. Now, I've noticed something, Brianna, that I want to change. Um, I hope it doesn't yeah. disturb what you've made. You notice that for it. the aspect ratio that I made is wrong here, and it needs to be uh, taller. I don't think we need to change the width. We can assume this is a bigger model than the one that he's standing next to. I don't mind making it bigger, yet, but that part needs to be taller. So it would involve opening up the box thing and then grabbing the box clicking on this and then somehow raising it up. And I think the best way to do that, restrict face movement, maybe it's restrict face movement. Oh, that one's um, locked for me. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me go back to my own. Uh, let me go back to here. So box, it's unlocked here. On yours? Yeah, mine is, is un oh, mine, I've oh. unlocked it. So it should be unlocked for you now. I can also make it darker there so you can see it better. Yeah. But if we can, um, if we can extrude it up a little bit, or maybe the easiest thing is the bottom face and then lift it up. The bottom, like go this way? Yeah, and then you can pull the whole thing up. I think if we, I have it locked right now in aspect for the world. And maybe we want to, um, how, how does one do this? Let me see. Maybe we want to unlock vertical. So I've unlocked vertical now. Now I can twist the world around from my perspective to get at the bottom. So if I were to then go to that layer, I can move the box, but I don't want to do that. Are you working with the box right now? Um. I'm not, uh, I'm not touching it. I touched okay. it for a second, but then I put it back. Okay. Um, so let me see if I can grab this and hit edit. There's just so many points, but I think if I just grab the bottom points, can I do this? See, I was having, um, there was a setting on mine where everything else I could click on it. And then it, it kind of like, you, you know how in Blender and Unity, there yeah. are the arrows you can move. That was happening, but it, I don't, I'm not sure it went away for some reason, but. Mm. Well, there is this, so there's the face tool, the point tool, and the line tool. I'm on the face tool, but the faces it's giving me are more than just one face because there's extra points. But if I make my selection balloon really big, oh, wait a minute. That didn't, that didn't work. Uh, really big face. It's kind of awkward. There's no way to, to shift click is the problem, mm. right? Because if I go click, no, I'm not getting any, I'm not, I'm not able to, to, to keep to keep those points. You're thinking restrict face movement, is that what we can do? Or auto select loops? Um. That's Brianna. Um, no, he's not coming in today. Yeah, if I drag this, I'm making really weird polygons. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not sure. Like, I wish I could just select it and then let it keep stuff selected. There is a points move freely. There's a snap. Turn on snap. Collapse polygons. Auto select loops. Hold offhand trigger to toggle. Hold offhand trigger to toggle. Oh, I see. Look at that. Okay, that makes a lot of... That's getting... That's not on the box. Hmm. No. This would be. Well, I could just get rid of the whole box and start and again. I don't know why. But I, I like the opening over yeah. here. Yeah. Well, that's why it's hard to make it long because it has the opening, and so it, unless mm -hmm. I somehow can collapse the points down here individually, like if I were to go to point mode, can I erase a point? Ooh, I did, but it 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 uh, erased the whole face. Mm. Okay, so I really don't know how one does this. I think. Because <clears throat> in Blender, I would just shift click and shift click until I had all of the points. And then I would just pull them out. I'd do an, an extrusion. Yeah. Whereas here, restrict face movement, auto select loops. It's not. It's not keeping them selected. You know. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a cheat that I could do. I can just make another box and plant it on the bottom to make it look or plant it on the top. And nobody mm. would, would be the wiser, probably. Although they might they might think, wait a minute, then why are, are there two boxes? Can the lid the lid's on a separate layer, right? Um the is. lid the lid can be moved around. I think it's on the box layer though. I can't touch it right now. Let me see. Figure grid fan if it's on the box, yeah, it is on the box layer. Let me make the lid on its on its own layer. Let me make a new layer for the lid. And really, that's that's part of the workflow is making separate layers for almost everything. So lids, let's do lid and mechanism. So I'm gonna go lid and. You can keep working on whatever you're working on. I'll do this. Lid and mechanism. And mechanism, and then I will move the lid. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Take the lid and throw it onto. Ooh, no, I didn't want to do that. How do you? If you grab the lid, you're supposed to. There we go. Lid and mechanism, and it stays in the right place. All right, lid and mechanism. So I also have to grab the mechanism and throw that on there. Grab your. Oh, sorry about that. I'm glad they have that undo button. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, so lid and mechanism, mechanism is now the lid and the mechanism. Was there anything else related to the lid and mechanism besides the hinge and the thing? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So I can then grab, and I wonder how do you group objects? Oh, I figured that out. You have to. Um, you have like an object and then you have another object. You gotta put them one on top of each other and then you highlight them both and there's like this purple button. You just click the purple button and then they're same so, thing. So if I were to grab the lid and then you said put it on top of the other part? No, like for the, right. are you talking about this, this yeah. thing? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would just put it like on, t like so it's touching it, and then highlight both of them, and then just click purple, like that kind of thing. Wait, undo and that. They're both grouped. Undo that and show me again. Okay, so here's this. Uh -huh. and I kind of like put it where I want it, and then I highlight. Oop. Highlight them both, and then uh -huh. I press the purple on my left hand. 
Okay, let me. And you can you ungroup them? Yeah. Uh, you just highlight it and then you ungroup with your uh, same button. All right. So, so if I, I go, go, I grab there. this, and then I place it there, and then no. Oh, I see. And you have to grab them both. You're saying. And then, oh, I see. Then there's the grouping button. Okay. And now it's in a group, so it'll lift itself whenever I lift yeah. it. So if I lift that up higher, now I want to go to the box. I'm going to lock that, go back to the box, and open the box. Can I... If I grab... As again, it's that whole weird... Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I don't know if there's a way to make it straight. It looks it looks like it's just kind of going straight. Yeah. yeah. There's a little, very little. So I think that, that looks better to me. Yeah. Of course, we'll have to get the, um, let me lock that layer. Lock the box and go to the lid and mechanism and unlock it. So you have this cord here. It has to be lengthened and I just screwed it up, so. It's okay. okay. You got that. I see. So you can get your spline in there. Yeah. I'm not sure where the wire goes, really. Um, I just kind of... It goes at the actual... I can see it. If you look at this picture over here, it's right at the end of that bar, which is in a pivoting mechanism. Like here? Yeah, there's a hole in there, oh, okay. and it's, it's literally right there for the hinge. Like down here? Yes. Right there. And I guess I've got to make this hinge. I gotta edit it and make it just a little bit smaller there. And maybe move it back a tad. Yeah. Same thing with the, um, oh shoot. So I'd have to ungroup. How to un un okay, I ungroup it and then I can take this and edit it and make it just a little bit smaller there how's that looks good oh i need to regroup these hold on yeah okay done i don't think they're grouped yep they're grouped okay i am group <laughs> all right move in <clears throat> So pivot so kiln can be tipped for shoveling out the charcoal. Pieces of rebar or pipe to hold screens. Got four or five of them. So I'm going to do that. I, oh, you I did stuck it. a couple. Yeah, a couple in there. I don't, I don't, I didn't attach it to a layer, I don't think. Um, it can be removed for yeah. shoveling out the charcoal. I don't think that rebar would go all the way across because then you couldn't shovel, right? And that's why he put that. He put that. It's uh, just like a little, a little thing, right? Like yeah, like that. I think so. He said in another that he put a. Uh, oh, you can actually see it in this picture down here. He put a, a bar. He welded on the side on either side of angle iron all the way around. See that? Mm -hmm. down, down there, there. so that's oh you, oh, you did, that. did that you put that in mm -hmm. I stuck. well I did two sides I didn't there's one in the back side, side. I... yeah there's another one I'll, I'll take care of that let me see if I can get in there and grab okay. grab one of those really make this tiny and get in there and I'll go there and then I duplicate and then I just turn it around that's so cool I love, I love the fact that you can just duplicate using the side grip it just makes it makes it easier yeah and then shorten this up. And then remove it. Mm -hmm. That should be actually underneath this thing, not above it. Ooh. You need really steady hands to do this kind of work. 
Inas was in here the other day and she was much better at building stuff than I am. I don't just say it, I mean it. I'm not usually like an artist type. So it's like been weird to build things. Yeah. But easier in here, kind of. Yeah, it, it gets your arms tired because you have nothing to lean on. When you're drawing on paper, you're sort of putting your elbow and your, your wrist on the paper on the desk. So this yeah. does get more tiring. Unattached support. Oh, the unattached support. Yeah, he, he has a little white arrow over here. And this green arrow here, can you see where I'm pointing to? Um, You've become very tiny. So I must look here. Oh, yeah. Over here, it says unattached support. And then there's an arrow going there. And he's pointing there to what in this picture is this little mushroom looking thing where he put a piece of bar. Oh, okay. That's just to hold it up because otherwise, when the wood is dumped in, it'll sag. See, I thought that the unattached support was going to be this, um, the like a little block or something under there, you know? That's why I stuck that there. I wasn't yeah, sure and, what and that I'm not was. clear how he, how he has this pipe sitting in there. I mean, this part here. Mm -hmm. Like, how, where, what's it resting on? Yeah. I don't have a... Mm -hmm. Lid is made from sheet iron. can't watch it, but okay. Side view, there's two bars. I see, wait a minute. I'm going to keep working in the lid layer. I'm trying to do the thermometer thing. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm in the lid layer and I'm going to go and make two little bars. So let's see. Stroke them. So imagine that these are welded on. Uh, oh, yeah. Oops. And I probably should be using the mirror function because if I set the mirror function up right, you only have to do something once. And then it's... Um, true. And that is really the secret to a lot of this is having a good use of mirror, which I've never been really adept at. And it really makes a difference when you can just mirror once. But you have to set up that mirror. Let me grab all this and see if I can you know, beef it. If you're working in mirror, do I work in mirror too? I don't like, know. Is it the that same mirror? Good. That's good to check. <laughs> and is it auto-saving, by the way? Uh, I'm not sure. I ask because when I go to save, it asks me to give it a title. Me too. I I, I just kind of put kiln last time. Yeah, and that and that isn't this particular workspace. That creates another workspace for this. Okay. Save on cloud. Report an issue. Reference profile. So then, if if I didn't. Say if I saved in a different workspace, then it, that must be auto saving in this one. Then I think it is. I'm gonna is make it? kiln th just to see. So it's it's as uploading in progress, and it, that save uploaded to landing pad to the cloud. Okay. But I think if I were to leave this and come in, it would be as it is. But anyway, it's good to back it up with a save just in case. All right, so now I want to create a flat diamond stroke or square stroke. I'll use a square stroke, and I will go there. Oops, that's ugly.
Okay, we've got thermometers. Yay. Thanks. It is a completely um, different way of thinking. It's like I'm actually building the damn thing. Right? Yeah, it's pretty. I think I did this thing wrong. This, the pivot thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he says warping is okay. Let's see, what has he got in the future? Very simple. You'll probably want the detail of the angle iron that goes around this, but I'm not, I'll let him chime in about that. Those are, it's amazing. We can blow this up as big as you want and add any details we want. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. I'm going to make the mushroom I would, thing. I wouldn't even know where to start though. That's for, the, I think that's the problem I have. Starting where? Like for the details. Oh, the, yeah. Right, no, he'd have to send us more pictures. I mean, it'd have to be very clear, so, and then he'd have to talk us through it, for sure. Temperature probes, well, I'm gonna do the mushroom, that's what I said I was gonna do. Make temperature probe, temperature probe. And then a mushroom, say, yeah. Mushroom pedestal. What do you see in us when you look at the computer screen to see what people are seeing on YouTube? Are you seeing exactly what I'm looking at? So you can see mushroom pedestal there. So that's my active layer. And then if I want to make that. Yeah. So you see Brianna, right? You see her there? Yeah, she's waving at you. Her hands are <laughs> And she's working there. And what I can do as a god is I can come in really close and I can go to this reference picture and model it after the picture and then shrink it. That's, yeah, that's the reference picture. So, oh, the grill, yes, that's the grill, the grid. And had, did you see the grid feature, Brianna? Me? Yeah, there's a, I sent a video on the Facebook group. There's a grid feature so that you can snap to grid and you can make things absolutely straight. That's nice. Yeah. I've I've used the plain one for like writing and stuff. Yeah, the plain one for writing is, is spectacular. And then there's the primitives. Like I just realized, why am I trying to make a, a rotation when I can just make a cylinder? Yeah. And the ability to uh, get things from a reference image and then pull that up and then make my other piece, which is a, it's not a torus. I wonder if you use a, a sphere. If you wanted to make a, a disc, would you flatten a sphere or fill in a torus or just use the rotate tool? See, I'm going to see what flattening a sphere looks like. Go to subdivision. Yeah, yeah I bet I can use subdivision and I can just cut this sphere in half. I think. Again, though, it's you can't select. It's hard to select like a certain part of this. You could do like volume. That's true. Oh, shoot. No, volume isn't very good for it. I'm thinking maybe I can come up into this sphere and chop off. Oh, is he going to give me that? Select it. Yeah, I kind of did it. I kind of made it funky, though. 
I got a little blurb of if you want. What have you got? Whatever this thing is. Oh, how did you make that? Uh, I just did this with volume, and then I morphed the little points. Okay, so if I go to simplify points, low poly, if I go to higher poly, convert to subdivision object, ooh, wow. Thicken offset. Oh, that's not bad. The thicken tool is new, and it's pretty cool. I haven't been able to play with it too much. It let, it let me make the internal part of a pipe hollow. But bake, thicken, thicken. I don't want to do that. Maybe I can't do that. Let me go back to what you gave me before. And that was off. Ooh. Hmm. Oops, I deleted it. No, I got it back. Oh, subdivision is really messy to put points in. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll start with something else. I don't know how to. I don't know how to put points in this. So I want to make a disk. Revolve tool would let me place something. This thing is confusing to me. What's that? Whatever is happening underneath the pivot thing? Is it a hole? Where, Where is that? Like underneath the, um, over here underneath the. Where are you? Oh, thing. Go smaller. Oh. Can you see me? Yes. Down, Down here, here in this picture, pivot so kiln well, can be this, tipped for shoveling out charcoal. Oh, that, oh, that this, thing is this a whole skid. Thing down here. So that. What is that? Is that just like. It's like a sled. Kind of a thing? Think of it like a sled. Oh, okay. And it's, it's up, it curves up. So think of it like a sheet. Um, literally like a sled, like the Santa Claus rides on, but not the rails, like a whole thick sheet, like a pan underneath the whole thing that then angles up and has a hook um, with, that goes to the chain. And then when he tips the thing over, okay, it can fall. Gotcha. I guess it, it's this side that he opens up. I mean, I don't get... Oh, no, this is a skid or frame with wheels, so kiln can be taken to where the wood is. It's got nothing to do with the tipping. It's just that the pivot is bolted to it. And the support for holding the other side, there's a support here that keeps the thing from falling over. It's bolted with the pivot, so it rests on that red um, bolt going through. So the whole thing stays upright, and it sits on this skid, which is like a sled, and then there's a hook to put a chain and drag it. So if you hooked it up to your car from here, where that blue hook is, you drag the skid, and the reason it's angled up is so that it wouldn't plow into the dirt. It would okay. act as a cow catcher kind of thing. It would like, or like a like what a sled does. I mean, a sled has those upturned rails so that as you're going through the snow, it just doesn't plow into the snow. It pushes through it. Okay. You know what I mean? So think of this like a sled. That's what it is. Or called it's called a skid. I'm gonna try to that. make. I'm gonna make this chain thing. Okay. Almost had something here. So if I go, if I start really small, I just have to get my. Yeah, there it goes. I just think I did it too flat. Keep 
forgetting you can be as small or as large as you want to. <laughs> Do you prefer to work small or large? I prefer to um, to work small, like to really dive into it and then kind of grab stuff and move it up. And I think it's this piece here doesn't need to be curved. I think what he was saying is he used the bottom he cut off of that that orange kiln to make the support. And so it is what it is. It's like yeah, he's using repurposed materials as much as possible. Now, if I go now to thicken, where's the thicken tool on here? Reset weights, blah, blah, blah. I say, okay, and then I say here, and then I go, no. At least it doesn't have a thicken tool. Pick up a color from somewhere. Sketch material. Oh. Okay. No, I guess not. Not the eye That would be cool, though. Yeah, you can't pick it up from the picture. Be neat if you could. You get faster and faster as you work on it, don't you? Yeah. Well, there's the bottom. Does your headset give you like headaches? Yeah, no, they make impressions on my face sometimes. Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, that's oh. What I'm, I'm experiencing the same thing. So one thing I realize is he puts the kiln all the way over to the side, and I have not done that. So I need to do that. On the side? Yeah, it's closer to the, to the wall over there, so that there's more space for the mushroom thing to be in the center. Gotcha. So I can take care. Ooh, what did I just do there? Stop. I go to unlock that layer. Close that. You just have to get adept to locking and unlocking and locking and unlocking. Oh, mine's getting real glitchy. Yeah, mine did for a second there too. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. This is how mine was getting, um, I was getting um, detailed. You were getting detailed what? When I was getting too detailed in the amphitheater thing, it mm -hmm. started getting glitchy like this too. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Well, because it's happening in real time online. Oh, your fire's on a different level. Mine's getting glitchy too now. Are you getting I'm super? What? I said, are you are you going? Are you super detailed right now? Um, I was just making this little chain. Mm -hmm. Might be too detailed. Hmm. <clears throat> We've really got to find out how he's anchoring that thing. It's way up here. I'm going to pout. Pout? I'm going to power down, and then I'm going to come right back. Okay. We'll be back right. Good point. 
<clears throat> oh no. What are those? Oh, those are shaking it. Lock that. Hmm. Now, fire. Not that one. It's not that's the figure, the grid. One. And the hidden mechanism. Not sure what that is. Oh, that must be the box. Nope. It's not the box. It's the box. Pacifier. It's not the pacifier. Chassis is already off. Car reference is off. Chassis is off. Buildings are off. The box is there. The fan has to move now. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You're back hey. in your tiny. Where did you, Where did you what layer did you, did you put the fire on? Um, that was before I discovered layers. So, um, Probably, let me see. Probably unknown. Is there an unknown? I don't see I an just, unknown. I just unlocked it. I don't, I don't even see it. It's like unknown one. Yeah. I don't have it. You don't have it? No. All, oh, I had my I layers on. on. Now I turned on all layers. And so, yes, I see it now. So there's, so there's this little toggle, toggle, toggle that says all layers, all layers are my layers, so you can, <clears throat> I'm going to rename another user's layer, layer. so I'm going to name unknown, unknown now. Oh, oh, yeah. I just named it fire. Oh, oh. I guess we both did. All right. Oh, and you put it in there. Cool. Yeah. Um, I have to go pick up my car from the place. Mm -hmm. So, but are you going to be back here later today? I can be. I have a, I have a, a, call, a call with Mercy College, college students at 7, seven but, but prior to 7, seven I can jump in from, from you know, various other tasks. tasks. So, yeah, so why, yeah don't why don't we, we um, this has made, made, made a nice uh, uh, YouTube video, video that, that I can send to George. He'll, He'll probably put all sorts of uh, comments, comments and questions when he watches it. So, yeah, let's let's reconvene when you're back. When do you think it'll be? Um, I could be back at like 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Yeah, I could yeah, put in some time before 7, before that call. 
Okay. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this grid, grid is what I'm gonna do in the uh, meantime. And I wanna ask you just before, before you go, go what are these rods here? here? Oh, that was supposed to be the temperature thing? Oh, they go, oh, they on, the go on the other side. side. Oh, okay. What did you have them in in terms of a, uh, let me see. Did you have it as a, no, it's not on that one. It's not on that one. It's not under chain. So, oh, it's in fire. Okay. I'll just take it out of fire and I will put it in unknown too. Which, all right, yeah, you can go. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Uh-huh. Thank you. All right. Let's go temperature probes. Temp probes. And I'll say okay. And now temp probes is where I want to grab from fire. So I'm going to unlock fire and grab those temperature probes and grab them and put them into temp probes. And then lock fire so the fire is not going to be affected grab the temperature probes and turn them around and it looks like he has the temperature probes considerably before this thing so there's two temperature probes here oh and there's one more down there that i missed so i'm going to go back to fire and unlock it and grab that, turn it around, but also drop it onto temp probes, and then bring that in. And I think they can be a little bit thicker. Whoa, there's the, I think there's the picture. They're like closer to the end of the box. So, oh no, oops, I didn't want to do that. So, block you. Temp probes there. All right, first of all, I need to make this a little bigger. In fact, why don't I take that off and take these and eliminate it? Take this and let me, let me get rid of it all together. Why isn't it logged? Let me oh, do it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's gone. So I'm going to redo that. I go here, set my stroke, whoa, and then make it round, and then go and make it bigger like that. Like that, and like that. Uh, here's where the grid really helps. So if I go into here and turn on the grid, then I can I can't see the grid marks actually, but it's straight now. All right, and then change the color to metal, like the material, and a darker sort of gray. Now, oh, because it's on grid, so now I have to turn off grid. Now I can turn it, place that probe in, and I should also turn on the floor lock so I'm standing correctly.
So George will have to say exactly where these temp probes go. We're looking down. Pretty hard to see, but in Blender we can clean that up. Very good. So the skid we can work on later on. Attached. All right, I think that's it for now. So we can go to our layers, make sure that everything is locked, and. Take our box and bring it up so you can see that a little better. Okay. And then the next thing to do is to take a picture of this. And the way to do that is to go to picture. No, not picture. To go to saving and then go to take screenshot and then come up here. And we can do that. Take that screenshot. Can also move the world around and show that we're working with it like that. And take a screenshot like that. All right, very good. Successful. Now save. Call it. Killing TH, overwrite that, and now it's freezing my, okay, and it's uploading the, uh, okay, then we will see you later when we continue working on this, very good, thanks so much.